Bitters has been a staple in many, many cocktails throughout the years. Today we're gonna try three different aromatic bitters and see if Riley can tell the difference in a Trinidad Sour. Are we already kind of not making a real Trinidad Sour when two of these are not made in Trinidad? Yes. But, fuck it, who cares? That's what we do. Yep. <laughs> so, um. this might be one of the most bitter forward cocktails that I'm aware of. I don't really know how much more bitter forward you can get without just doing a shot. You mean bitter forward as far as the bitters itself this, being forward? The volume of how much bitters is Yeah, because you use like two ounces. Yay. You know, close to that. Ounce and a half, because the other half is rye whiskey. So which ones are we going to try today? We have Peter Patrician's Aromatic Bitters. Tell the people how we got said bitter. So you just want me to talk you up saying that you bought these for my birthday yes. as a birthday present. So we know Peter from the Steve the Bartender Facebook group. He's a great guy. He has probably one of the dopest bar setups ever. He makes Aramac bitters and many other flavors. Go check yes. it out. He makes a ton of flavors and they are all delightful. Yep. And the link for his Instagram will be in the description of this video. So you want to go buy some. The old reliable Angostura. Everyone, Tried and true. Everyone knows Angostura and it's very common no matter what bar or restaurant you go to, you have at least this bitters. Yes, and even if you don't know what bitters are, you know what this bottle is. Right. If you have been to a bar, you have seen this. And for people who are cheapskates, they buy Pea Brothers. No, no, I don't, I don't remember how much it was, but I feel like it was comparable to No, I know, I'm just being a joke. So. But Pea Brothers is probably one of the most well-known brands other than Angostura itself. Absolutely. So they make orange bitters, they make pecan, peaches, black walnut, Their chocolate flavors, cherry. They have they, a lot of different ones. Yes. It, I feel like as far as the flavors go, Fee Brothers might be the most prolific. They might have the most varieties. Yes on the market for a mass produced product. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and try Peter's first because we're both kind of familiar with the other two. Yep. Well, I've never tried this one. Okay. But. I haven't tried it for a while, but I already think I know what I remember. I already think I know what I remember. <laughs> he says. It smells like bitters. It smells like bitters, but also the sweeter. It has sweeter notes. It's just not as punchy in the face as like Angostura is for right. sure. I don't know what ingredients go into this, but I feel like I can smell a lot of anise. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a little bit more forward than other ones for sure. I like that. It's like, again, it's not, it tastes like it smells. It's not a big punch you in the face, clovey as Angostura is. Right. But it's still bitter and it has that like general. It's not as dry. Right. And I like that about it. I feel like it's going to be very interesting in the cocktail we are going to make. I also feel like it's going to be very easy to pick out because it is significantly lighter than Angostura. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do uh, let's go Brothers. Fee Brothers. Yes, so we will be able to pick out Peter's. <laughs> Cats are having some fun. Yep, a lot darker. This one is a lot more... This is like candy sweet almost. I get cinnamon. Cinnamon. Like red yeah. Hots. Red Hots, yep. I guess that's what I meant by the candy. It has yeah. a candy Red Hot for sure. Oh wow, it tastes like a red hot. Mm -hmm. Yep, it does, but then that back end, like on the back layer, 20%, 50% is the bitter yeah, note you do of get it. The, you do get the cloves and like all of the other aromatic bitters. But it definitely has that red hot candy mm -hmm. kind of taste to it. I, I like this and a it's lot. It's been a while. I don't remember ever tasting like that, but then again, it's been prop before I've known you, like yeah. before I really tasted just the... Yes. Smells like everything I do. It smells like Angostura. Smells like bitters. Mm. Tastes like clove. I have no taste. Yeah, yet. clove is a very dominant flavor. Oh yeah. Clovey dries it out. Some herbalness in there, some earthiness tones, but mm. it's it's the dryness factor is so unique in yes. it, you know. It's the driest of the three. Mm-hmm. And it is the I feel like punchiest is the mm. right word. Yeah, it's definitely clove forward for yes, sure. Yes, it is. It's smacking you in the face with a bunch of cloves. Yeah. We're about to make a cocktail that are, these are all three going to be wildly different. And I feel like they'll all be delicious. Yeah, a Trinidad Sour is, it, that, I'm gonna already say it, this cocktail is not for everyone. No. It is 
very, it's made with, the normal recipe is made with Angostura and it's very dry, very clovey. It's, it's a palate record for sure, yes. but it's so unique also. I'm excited to try these two inside yeah. and see what happens with right. them. Right. So, because we both love sour cocktails. Yes. Sour beer, sour cocktails. Memory serves, the Trinidad sour isn't as sour as I would like it, but. Well, I mean, it's because. You can substitute it out as a base spirit. The question is, should you? And the cost differential, because it's a lot right. of money. Because this little bottle is about 10 to $12. So an ounce and a half of that. I feel like I bought the big bad boy for 19. Right. So the, the per ounce pour is way more expensive on the bitters. And again, you're not gonna, gonna make it. it. Yeah, so so let's go ahead and make a Trinidad sour and see if Riley can tell the difference. I hope She'll so. She'll probably be able to. <laughs> Comical. <laughs> <laughs> they are all completely different. Very different. Very different. You have light brown, red, purple dark, and blood red. Red. So, thoughts. Before tasting, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to uh, lock this in yet. But before tasting, I feel like this is the order. Okay. Just looking at these. Oh wait, no wait. We tried the Angostura last, so it's this one. Anywho, let's let's, let's taste, taste them. Because that's start, the fun part. I'm gonna start with this one. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so. This is what a balanced Trinidad sour tastes like. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell I've been making these past couple months or years. But that's so good. Like, the, the rye whiskey kind of just is just in the background playing. The orgeat is just the almond. The sweetness the of sweetness. it. It's, I mean, it's essentially like drinking a chai syrup. Yeah. I, with yeah. some lemon. And, and the bitterness from the aromatic bitters is just... It just kind of stops at a certain point uh -huh. and it's just there at that low. It doesn't go past that peak. Right. And it's pretty mid range. Right. That's super good. This is this is a really good one. I mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it on a sip of it. Okay. Now since I tasted it, can I put what it is in front of it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bad boy. It smells like cinnamon. Okay. That is brown. Mm-hmm. Like not an ugly it, brown. It's just like it's like a deep red brick brown. Yeah. Oh my god, it tastes like a red hot. It that <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The smell <laughs> is exact yeah. Uh, it tastes exactly like a red hot. <laughs> Just amplify it and that lemon juice is like, it makes it juicy yep. at the end. Yeah, it kind of- So like, if you put in your mouth three little red hots and one lemon head and put it in the other mouth together, that yeah, might be- maybe. A five to one candy ratio. <laughs> is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right. Hmm. The real version. <laughs> Cocky, aren't we? Absolutely. That's easily the most like well balanced and rounded of it. Like you can tell that that's what the cocktail was when it was created. God, the ingredients and the portions are made specifically for this is what you're saying. Right. I don't think there's any question. Yeah, about you're it. right. I got you. I, was like, <laughs> I mean, what, what are we arguing about? Like kind of already knew that this was going to happen. I just yeah. didn't realize that these two would be that far. Now I'm looking at your samples over there, like, yep. man, they are that. They are that different. They are that <laughs> different. This just amplifies it into a realm. Now, these are all good. I prefer these two over this one because this is just too cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon flavor notes of it. These are both really well done. 
I loved Big Red Gum for a really long time, so this will always have a special place in my heart, but I also don't think that it is balanced enough for this cocktail. I, I do feel like some adjustments would need to be made. I um, feel like this one, you can taste the almond and the orgeat more, so it kind yes. of gives it a little sweeter taste to it. Uh-huh, I love which that. Which is great, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I feel like of the three, this one, the Angostura one is great. It is exactly what it's supposed to be because that is the cocktail. Right. But I like the, I like Peter's better. I yeah. do like how blended it is. Mm -hmm. I do like that it, the flavors are still there, but it, the other ingredients can shine a little bit more. Absolutely, this one's definitely more approachable of the three of them. Yes. And there's someone who's just kind of like, let's, let me, let's, they say, take me to Flavor Town. <laughs> Thank you. That's the whole. That's the whole trip right there. Well, even, like, this is the first time I've ever made with Orjot. I don't know where I was getting my other recipes. This one's actually not as crazy bold as I remember it. Like, right. it's still pretty well balanced. Not pretty well, it is well balanced exactly yes. for what it is. For what it is, yes. Yeah. So yeah, this is a super good cocktail. Again, go check the description for uh, Peter's, Patricia's, and Bitter's. In our Instagram, send a DM, tell them Carl Riley sent you. Yeah, definitely make this cocktail. I think this is a very good cocktail. Yes. It is, again, it's a little bit more bitter and herbal forward than most, but yes, this it's is, fun. If this is an expand your palate, try it once. You might not like it the first time you try it. It is something that I feel like most people need to experience. I feel like this is something that you do need to try to let the Angstar shine. Yep, agreed. Or the aromatic bitters. bitters yes. Right. Try it with these two. If you if you really like cinnamon, you will love the shit out of this one. Yeah, definitely. We have another video where we did another uh, partition bitters. We did orange bitters, yes. where we reviewed that orange bitters versus two others. That was a fun episode to do. Yes, in a Giuseppe. Yep. So go a ahead and check Giuseppe. A bitter Giuseppe. Go and check that video out, and I will do this one. I uh, know I'll do this one. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Peter.